In this video, we are going to be uh, repairing my homemade metal cutting bandsaw. So, I made this thing three years ago, and um, it's been pretty good. Um, it can cut metal. I've cut things as, as thick as two and five eighths of an inch on this thing. Um, for all of you guys who haven't seen my um, other video where I discuss this, I'll put a link in the description or a, or a card. This is a homemade metal cutting bandsaw made from an old craftsman wood cutting bandsaw with a metal cutting blade in it. And it has this whole reduction system. Um, now, the while running this machine, the few complaints that I have are that um, it tends to slip a lot. Um, and I'll get into that later. And uh, actually, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and... And this is really the same reason. These pulleys are not the best. Um, this was the first time they made pulleys and I did not do the best job with making these. So both of those problems are really because of the pulleys. Here's kind of a closer look on the pulley action. Uh, the belt's off this one. We have a belt that attaches to the motor here and then goes around this pulley like that. Um, and you can see that the belt doesn't go fully in the pulley. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, and then this is a compound pulley with a smaller pulley on the back. And then it goes to this big one, which has another small pulley on the back of this, which then goes to the pulley of the uh, bandsaw. Now, the problem with this machine is that um, it keeps throwing this belt. So if you look, this guy goes to this pulley here. And this is a really small pulley, right? So. This small pulley is the reason why it would slip a lot, and that's because there's just not enough pulley, um, not enough, not enough to grab here. The belt has to make a really harsh turn, and there's just not that much to grab, so it slips here. So I really need to make this one a little bit bigger, um, and then also make uh, this one bigger to sort of keep the ratio the same because as soon as you make this one bigger it's going to start spinning faster so because it was slipping so much these little tightening mechanisms I made I had to really just crank them to make them super super tight um, and you know overly tight and over the years what's happened not really so much for this one but we have another tightener down here what has happened is uh, the there's so much um, off there's so much lateral force on the ax uh, the axle that there's a considerable amount of play there. So my repair for this is we're actually going to make new pulleys. Um, they're going to be kind of up to my current standard, and uh, we might have to make that new bushing. We probably will. So we're going to start taking this belt off. And then we're going to loosen this uh, mechanism here by just turning it. Just going to loosen up this belt. So now we got this belt out of the way. And then we're going to loosen this mechanism up here. Take this belt off. So next we have uh, these pulleys here. We're just gonna loosen this. Okay, I got it off, but it broke in the process. But that's okay because um, we're gonna make new ones. Next we have this top pulley up here. So we're just gonna loosen that up. To switch a wood cutting bandsaw to metal, you need about a 10 to 1 reduction, um, generally. Uh, if it's a 1725 um, RPM motor, which this one is, I believe. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to change these pulley sizes around to what I had. What I had was like 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8.9, 8
so it wasn't exactly 10. So this is this pulley is the pulley from the modem, which is four inches. We're going to make a 12 inch pulley that this is going to go to. Um, and then we're going to, on the other side of that, have a three inch. That three inch is then going to go to a 10 inch. And then on the other side of that 10 inch, we're going to have a four inch, and that's going to go to this four inch. So to get the gear ratio, we have 12 divided by four, which is three to one ratio. So every time this has to spin three times, for this to spin once. Then on the other side of this pulley, we have a 3, and then here we have a 10, so we have 10 divided by 3, so that's a 3 and a third. Um, so that means that this pulley has to spin 3 and a third times for this to spin once. Um, and then on the back side of this, we have 4 inches, and this is a 1 to 1, so that doesn't affect anything. So we multiply these two together, we get 10. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to make four pulleys. So here I just traced out a circle that's a little bigger than 12 inches and we're going to turn it on the wood lathe. And uh, so I'm just going to cut this roughly in the bandsaw. swing this this is like the absolute maximum um, so we pick out a tool here so guys I'll say here first um, I don't turn wood I'm not a wood turner I'm a metal turner um, so go easy on me here <laughs> so we're gonna just smooth this out first to get it flat belt this gouge tool okay that looks about the right depth uh, we're gonna get in there. And we're just gonna cut the sides out. I should have a belt. Okay, here. We're gonna test this belt. Let's see how well it fits in there. And uh, that looks to fit pretty good. I didn't really get the groove dead nuts in the center. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. But it doesn't really matter. Um, so it looks pretty good. Um, so that pulley is pretty much done. Uh, I could sand it, but, uh, well, I guess I could sand the rough corner. Hold on. Let's just, let's just sand this. Alright, so let's take this off and, uh, um, we can balance it if we need to and then uh, I'm, I'm gonna make the other pulleys off camera because they're all the same deal okay I got the three inch done so we're gonna put this first pulley assembly together we're gonna put the small one on first and then the big one and then, uh, Get that lined up. Yep. There. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, okay, so next, we need the other pulleys. Okay, I got the other two pulleys made. So, I don't know actually if I can fit this one. goes on first. There we 
go. And then this one goes on actually there's a space right here. And then this one. There might be some rubbing between the two, and if there is, we're going to have to put some spacers. So let's see if all the belts fit. I mean, I have link belts. I had to add a little bit, but let's see. Okay, I got all the pulleys on and all the belts on at the right length and so forth. Um, so let's switch it on and see if everything works. It looks pretty good. I actually tested this, tested this already and they were rubbing a little bit so I had to put a few washers between the two pulleys. Um, but it seems to be working pretty good. Now the thing with these wooden pulleys is that oftentimes there's always a little bit of run out. So you can see it on this one. Um, this top one's actually really good. But many times you will get run out on, pull, on the wooden pulleys and um, so kind of hard to mitigate that since it's wood so the blade is spinning nice and slow so we're gonna flip this around we're gonna try to cut some wood not wood I mean metal also um, in, upon further inspection I realized why it was throwing belts there was some play in the bottom pulley like I said before but it wasn't really because the shaft wore the bushing the shaft did wear the bushing but that wasn't really the main source of the play. The main source of the play was, so on the bottom end, there's a tension me tensioner mechanism just like this. And you can see how there's a little plate here, and this, this guy here slides under this plate. And this plate stops it from sort of coming up like that. And what happened on the bottom one was, because I had to tighten these so much, um, and I guess because the belts were, weren't the right size, this plate was tightened all the way to the back and eventually it um, like this edge was right here and then eventually it just went past it and fell forward so now it was no longer being captured by this little plate and it was able to cock sideways and when it cocked sideways it would throw the belt off so that's really what was going on um, uh, technically speaking to stop it from throwing the belts I didn't really need to redo the pulleys however I wanted to redo the pulleys so that um, I didn't have it slip anymore because the those these pulleys here were too small so I think this is going to solve the problem so let's cut some metal alright so it's cutting the metal fine but what's happening is I'm getting the same thing that's hap that happened last time the slipping except instead of it being the smaller pulley up here now it's a small pulley down here so Last this, the pulley I was using that was slipping last time. Come on, focus, focus, focus. The pulley that I was using that was slipping last time was two and a half inches. Um, I guess this is three, so this is really kind of the same thing. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. So I'm gonna have to make another pulley. I think I'm just gonna make it um, just a bit bigger, maybe an inch. It's gonna cause the blade to move quicker, but. Uh, I think that'll be all right. I need to really have it not slip. So let me do that and uh, we'll bring it back. Okay, so I made another pulley. Um, instead of three inches in diameter, I made it three and a half. And uh, that's helped a lot in terms of the grip. Just this piece of steel here. I think this is uh, maybe three sixteenths. And um, now if I... go it's pretty quiet it's not vibrating a lot um, now I could like I said it still kind of jams up if I really really push hard um, 
Uh, I could eliminate that if I made the pulley even bigger. Um, but then it, this would kind of go, be going too fast and I would need to put another set of uh, pulleys in there to kind of offset that. So yes, I can make it not slip and whatever, but it it will require more pulleys and or bigger pulleys and uh, I just don't want to go down that road. It's that it's just that'll just get too complicated with the tightening and everything like that. So this works fine. Um, this is about how this is a little better than what it was before. So this will work for me. I can go slow and steady. And, and this is for three sixteenth steel. So that's gonna that's gonna be good for me. That's gonna be it for this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.